chances are like most of the rest of the world, you're absolutely in love with the boba trend. Like I can say personally myself, some of us are struggling though with a lack of access to real boba. Maybe it's because there's not any restaurants nearby that sell good boba. Maybe it's because there's not any stores that sell tapioca pearls. And we know that it's super hard to make it yourself. Whatever it is, it comes down to a national emergency. You're suffering from a boba deficiency. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a substitute for tapioca pearls using glutinous rice flour, water, and any dye or extract you want. To make the dough, you're going to want to put the glutinous rice flour in the water in a 2 to 1 ratio. And now I'm going to flavor the dough with peppermint since it's Christmas time, so I just add a splash of that. And then a little bit of red to make it look like a candy cane. Please remember, you can dye it any way you want, flavor it any way you want, it doesn't matter to me. After mixing it around, you're then going to want to start kneading it until it's all smooth. And if you're using dye, until it's all mixed together. I don't know why, but it wasn't really showing up as red, but I promise it was. Next, you're going to want to roll the balls into like boba shaped balls by just getting a pinch, rolling it together, and placing it out flat. It really helps if your hands or the dough are cold because then it won't stick to you. This is why I added them to the fridge before I boiled them so then they'd be more like solidly put together. We're going to cook these little rice balls by boiling them, so get yourself a pan and get it boiling. You cook these by putting them in a pot of boiling water, as I said, so just put them in there. I don't think there's issues with overcrowding because they don't really stick together. And then as soon as they float to the top, get yourself a spider or something to pull them out and then set them aside. I did this in batches, like I said, just because that's how I could do it best, but I think you can do them all at once. I don't think it really matters. They're not super picky. They come out looking like this. They look like little red jelly beans to me. Um, they're super springy and chewy like real tapioca pearls. They're just a little bit sticky. This is your time to feel fancy and authentic, so get out those glasses and your spoon and start putting it down in the bottom. Next up, since it's Christmas time, like I said, I'm trying to make a color contrast between the red and the green to make Christmas colors, so I'm going to make a matcha tea. Two teaspoons of matcha and a cup of filtered water, and then I added a little bit of sugar and some cream in to lighten it up and make it taste a little bit more, like, sweet. <laughs> After getting that all shaken up, it's time to assemble the drinks. On top of the little quote-unquote boba, you add in some ice, and then I used oat milk. You can use any sort of, like, cream milk if you want, um, and then I started spooning in the matcha on top. Look at that gradient from green to white to red. Yes! So, just like that, I had myself a quick little substitute boba, and it was great. Please remember, you can flavor this however you want. You can use any sort of bubble tea, real tea. You can make chai tea with this. Heck, I bet it'd be busting if you made, like, chocolate milk and put some of these in the bottom that were vanilla flavored. I don't know. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this hack, and thank you for watching.